Welcome to Mully's Monday Night Cocktail Hour, starring your favorite YouTube personality, Mully Stash. And Stash fans, welcome back. Like I do every Monday, it is going to be a drink night. Tonight I'm going to do something simple. I'm going to do a simple highball, which is just alcohol in a mixer. I'm going to be doing whiskey and soda, or Jameson and ginger. Now it's interesting, highballs actually have been around since the 1800s, and the name may possibly come from a railroad, has something to do with the boiler, uh, but may maybe not. I'm not quite sure that's what I could find. There wasn't a lot of information about it. Um, now, normally when you do a highball, it's a type of glass. It's a long, skinny glass, and of course I don't have one. I didn't have one last week, I don't have one this week. I do have my trusted measuring cup that we talked about. And, you know, the measuring cup is actually really good for making consistent cocktails. You know, because otherwise it's sort of a hit and miss if you just sort of throw something in there and you may get it right, you may not get it right. Um, so I'm doing a Jameson and Ginger. Like I said, it's a highball. You could think, well, a Jack and Coke is a highball or a 7 and 7 or Cuba Libre. And they're all, it's, it's a type of drink. It's just a, it's an alcohol, a liquor with a, a, with a mixer. And tonight when we do the Jameson and Ginger, per Jameson's own website, they do one part Jameson with three parts ginger. That might not have been Jameson's website. It might have been. Anyway, and they also use a lime to garnish. Which is awesome because we had limes left over from our um, gin and tonic last week, which was also a highball. Anyway, Jameson is a, it's an Irish whiskey. It's um, triple distilled and it's been around since 1780 or so. At least that's what the bottle says. This is a special Jameson. I actually, I found it at the store and instead of being just regular Jameson, it's the Jameson cask, mate, cask mates. And what it means is after it's been distilled and it's aged, then they move it over to a beer barrel or a stout barrel, sort of like a Guinness. And then they let it finish aging in that. So it picks up more of a stout flavor. Uh, I know other alcohols do that, like they make scotches that are finished in rum casks or my personal favorite sherry casks. So I got this, actually it was on sale at Walgreens and I would definitely recommend it to anybody who wants some. But anyway, uh, like most highballs, one part whiskey or alcohol of choice and three parts mixer. So I think we are going to do a quarter cup, which is two ounces whiskey. That's a, that's a good drink size. And since math can be hard, then we'll just fill it up to the one cup mark. And then that would be one part and three part. I'm just using your basic Canada Dry Ginger Ale. The reason I'm using this is because it comes in small bottles. I like the small bottles as opposed to the cans. Or at least resealable bottles, for that matter. And I don't know, if I have a big bottle, it may just stay in the fridge and go flat. In the cans, I always feel obligated to drink them after I mix my drink. Or I have to have more than one drink. Small bottles are perfect for that. I, I like to keep some small bottles of Coke and Sprite for mixing. Um, not Sprite, sorry, 7-Up. Which, interestingly enough, you actually almost always uh, mix with Coke products and not Pepsi products. Something they teach in bartending school. Anyway, big old lime. I'm using the ulu again to cut it. This is my little ulu. I like to use this one actually as a steak knife as opposed to the big ulu, which is a, not a steak knife. So when I make my uh, Jameson and ginger, I like to put a good heavy chunk of lime. In this case, it's a quarter, quarter of lime. Squeeze that in there. Give that a little stir. Put a couple ice cubes in there. Now, the Jameson and Ginger, it's a really good multi-purpose drink, right? Like, you can use it on a hot summer night. It's a very crisp, refreshing drink, but also works on other nights. Like, ooh, dang. That's awesome. Anyway, it works on other nights, like Monday nights, or cold nights, like tonight. It's just a drink of many talents. Uh, it's good for parties in the summer. It's it's good for whatever you need a quick you know quick pick me up. Mm. Oh man. The only problem with these is if you make them right and they're this delicious, 
you know, they go down really easy and you sit in your chair and you drink a few of them and then you can't stand up. So, you know, imagine that. Anyway, again, please drink responsibly and this is really only appropriate for those of your legal drinking age in whatever country of your you're choosing, better throw that out of the way, but anyway, definitely, uh, Jameson and Ginger, if you want to worry about calories and stuff, you could always get Diet Ginger, that's fine, it tastes the same, mostly the same, and you don't have to get the cask made Ginger, you could get the regular Ginger, but uh, these are really good drinks, and it's something good to have if you're hosting a party and somebody wants something sort of light and refreshing. So, definitely make yourself one of these and post a picture of it on the Jameson website. Anyway, I think that's all the time we got for tonight. So, make sure you like this if you haven't and make sure you subscribe and you can turn your notifications on if you want to. And you can find me on Twitter at Molly Stash. And thanks for tuning in to the Molly Stash Show. We will see you tomorrow.